What's up guys, John from Poopapply.com here today with another on the farm video. Now, it's 10.59 a.m. This is very important. So when we walk into the shed on this particular day, it was, you know, a little over 20 degrees or so. And obviously I've sped this video up just a little bit. Um, I thought this would be kind of a cool thing to just kind of show uh, how we can heat our little shop up down there. And, uh, yeah. So normally we just run like a 50,000 BTU heater and a 80,000, I think it is, or 60,000 construction style BTU heater. And it heats the shop up quite well. But uh, this particular day we added some more just for dramatic effect. So it was four, 15 minutes basically from when I started filming the thermometer to the end. So yeah, here's the 150,000 BTU torpedo heater. We're burning uh, road diesel because it, it doesn't have a lot of smell and stuff and it's not bad. This is the 50,000 BTU torpedo heater, also running diesel. And there's the construction style propane heater. Now this video is going to basically focus around this Han lawnmower. You guys have seen this lawnmower before. Obviously it has an oil leak. Maybe just a smidge. Look at all that oil on the deck. Um, the story on this uh, lawnmower real fast is my dad actually used to sell Han lawnmowers and he sold this to his brother-in-law which is obviously my uncle. My uncle used it for many many years to cut his grass at his house and then after he didn't need it anymore a few years ago now, it's probably been like 10 years now, he gave it back to my dad. said, hey you want the lawnmower you sold me back? It's yours. Still runs good and everything but the oil leaks getting a little real. So we're going to pull the motor all apart and fix them up. So the first step is obviously to take the blade off and then the second step would be to take the motor off of the deck. That is an aluminum deck, cast aluminum deck. So if we ever, you know, decide to retire this thing, that deck's actually worth a few bucks. So you can see the bottom of the motor is pretty dirty. So we put it in an oil pan and we're going to clean it up a little bit because you don't want this dirt and stuff getting inside of the crankcase on the motor so dad's actually brushing it with a little bit of diesel to try to cut some of that crap so we've got a bottom seal that was leaking the bottom gasket that was leaking and the top seal we think was leaking as well now the head gasket we do not believe that that was leaking at all so we did not replace that I did check the head bolts they were all nice and tight and everything so we're good to go there like I said, this motor is quite dirty. It's just, it's terrible. It's been leaking for probably, I don't even know how many years. We really only use this thing, it's a trim lawnmower. You know, we use it like around the pump house because you can't get the laser in there and stuff like that. So yeah, we're just going to rip this engine all apart and I think I'm going to leave it here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy the rest of the video. And I will, I guess, talk to you next week. Oh, big news, next week's on the farm video, which I've already been editing, um, the drone has arrived and we got it working and going and next week will be drone video from the farm. So make sure to tune in for that one next week. We will have a very cool drone video and everything for you guys then. So please enjoy this video and I will talk to you next week. So John from Toodles.